Joining me here in Mission Control Houston, a man who knows a thing or two about spending a lot of time in space, uh, the current U.S. record holder for most time ever, NASA astronaut Mike Fink. And Mike, first off, thanks so much for joining me. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. And Dan, it's always great to be here. Uh, it's always great to be a Mission Control Center, and it's always uh, great to get a chance to share some of our real-time story with our great uh, NASA TV watchers. Absolutely. Now, so the first time you flew on station back in 2004, you actually got to fly with Gennady Padalka. Now, first off, um, how do you think he's feeling right now? You spent a lot of time with him. How do you think he's feeling about breaking this milestone? Yeah, that was uh, that was awesome. Uh, Gennady and I were backup crew on Expedition 4, and then uh, with the Challenger uh, disaster, we reshuffled crews several times, and we ended up uh, being exactly where we were supposed to. We flew on Expedition 9, launching in 2004, and it was just uh, Gennady's feeling right now. He's, he's feeling like he always does when he's up in space. He's where he's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You know, it's an awesome feeling where you just wake up in the morning and say, I'm supposed to be here. This is what yeah. I'm supposed to be doing with my life. And I know Gennady's really happy, but I do remember, I do remember we're on the rocket where, where we just got into space and uh, myself and Andre Kalpers, we uh, we flew together on uh, this mission up here. And then uh, we, Gennady and I had stayed on Expedition 9. And uh, Gennady, he, you know, Andre and I were like, hey, we're in space. We're so happy. <laughs> and he's a, 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 theor, a, 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 a visceral joy. I mean, yeah. just uh, and Gennady's there. Oh man, I'm doing this again because this is his <laughs> second. Uh, this is his second mission, and I and I feel uh, when I launched on my second mission uh, in the Soyuz, once we got into space, I knew exactly how he felt. It's like, oh, now I know what Gennady felt. Yeah. Oh man, we're doing this again. But uh, Gennady is up there. Uh, he spent a lot of time. He's where he's supposed to be. He's an awesome space station commander. Now, Padalka, not only a veteran on the International Space Station, he actually flew on Mir too. So when he was there for your first flight, what are was was he a good mentor? Was he you know showing showing the ropes to the newbies? Was he great to have you know on that first he's, flight? He's the best to have. He's the best newbie trainer wrangler in the whole <laughs> world. He uh, uh, he had a lot of uh, experience on space station Mir, which was different than space station. So we both mm -hmm. learned station together, but the whole business of living in space, how to eat, how to shave, how to do all these things, he showed me. And then I try to show it on to the, my next cruise. But uh, the best, if you're a new guy or gal going to go fly in space, uh, the guy you want to fly with is Gennady Padalka. He's uh, the, the greatest Obi-Wan ever. <laughs> so you went on to Command Expedition 18. Did you take any of those lessons with you? Absolutely. Um, I watched how Gennady uh, sh shared uh, the new flight with us, uh, uh, me and Cowpers, when we flew uh, on the Soyuz how we adapted to flying in space, mm -hmm. and uh, how to be efficient uh, during, a, during a mission. So uh, when uh, Gennady, uh, so when we got aboard for Expedition 18, I tried to do what would, you know, what would Gennady do in yeah. this case. And uh, have a little bracelet, what would Gennady <laughs> yeah, do? WWGD, <laughs> something like that. Uh, I should have, uh, but all in Cyrillic, of course, right? Yeah. So, but uh, no, Gennady, uh, Gennady had, had a lot of patience, and uh, any time I would mess up, he'd just say, hey, don't, don't do that again, or something mm -hmm. like that, and it was it was great. Um, we shared a lot of uh, experience spacewalking in Russian spacesuits. So on Expedition 18, when we went out, I went out with Yuri Lanchakov, who was, mm -hmm. was his first spacewalk. And so I kind of tried to take the same role um, very respectfully because you know, yep. Yuri was the lead spacewalker, but I kind of showed him a few of the tricks that Gennady showed me. So that's the nice thing is that you know, Gennady's legacy is uh, spread out throughout the cosmonaut corps and the astronaut corps. And we actually have a really cool moment. So you guys were back-to-back -back space station commanders. You commanded 18, and then he came on and commanded 19. What, what was that like for you? Oh, man, that was like the one of the deepest, coolest moments of my space life. Yeah. Um, because it, it meant a lot to me. I mean, uh, I was hoping that Gennady was proud of me. Mm -hmm. I was hoping, you know, I, I tried to show that I learned from him on Expedition 9 how to be a good commander so that when we passed it on, you know, from Expedition 18 to 19, I gave him a ship that was better than, than we started with. It was in ship shape. It was clean. Uh, everything was organized, and uh, and I knew that he and Expedition 19 and then Expedition 20 would be able to get their mission done a little bit better for the hard work that the Expedition 18 crew did. And so Padalka went on to command Expedition 32. He's the commander right now on Expedition 44. He's commanded four space station expeditions, so he has more commands of the space station. He now has more days in space all time than anybody. What do you think his legacy is going to be You know, for the space station program and for human spaceflight in general? That's a that's a great question. I think uh, on so many different levels. So on on one level, on the personal level, Gennady has shown us that you can be a 
uh, a commander that brings out the best in people. Mm -hmm. And how he's done that, you know, he's shared that now with uh, four space station crews, not to mention his his Mir crew. And I think that's uh, that's helped us as Americans and as fellow professionals to uh, you know, to take uh, notes from the Gennady's playbook. So that that's one legacy. Um, Gennady's also very good about understanding the, the the importance of the international part of the International mm -hmm. Space Station. He uh, he's definitely a, a man of planet Earth, not just a, a Russia a Russian for Russia. Yep. He's uh, and, and he's taught us how to be uh, think in the in the literally the global big picture, right? So Gennady's uh, been very good about that, and he represents, I think, some of the you know, best of our, our planet Earth. And then uh, finally, I mean, just being up there that long, his medical data, the, the things that we're learning from him are going to help us you know, on our journey to Mars, right? As, yep. as NASA, as, as we as internationals, uh, partnerships go to Mars, Gennady's data will help us understand the, the effects of, of spaceflight for 800 and something days. Yep. And every day Gennady's up there, he's making a new record getting more data. All right, well, again, NASA astronaut Mike Fink, our most veteran astronaut. Uh, big congratulations to Gennady Padalka on breaking the record. Um, many, I assume this might be his last flight. You never know with him. We'll see. Uh, but, yeah, big congratulations. And, Mike, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Dan, thanks for having me on, and uh, y'all are watching NASA TV.